Is Ethereum a security? Let's see what I found out. What's up, guys? Welcome to Allcoin Picks. I'm Stefan, and we're going to be talking today about what is going on across the board with Ethereum being threatened to be a security. And this has been discussed for so long, and I don't know why this got into such a tense situation that everybody's talking about this. I can't stop hearing this on our Telegram group in our discord over and over again i even went on google and found typed in and see the amount of people asking what is going on about this meeting that we're going to be having today to discuss what do they think about ethereum being a security or not and if you do any amount of research you're going to realize that it's just a mess but i'm going to be talking first about our website for this video and what to say about tradingview.com if you haven't been in this space and you're probably just digging into charts whether you're an amateur or you're a professional there is so much to learn from this website you can follow a professional or an amateur trader you can actually type in what you're looking at and you can find out every single pair trading pair you can versus bitcoin and even ethereum and if you click into it you can see what's going on they will even give you hints about whether it's a strong buy or not and they will list the news and even look at that even all these charts which in my opinion if there is so much out there that you don't even know what to follow what i like doing for those that don't chart is check out their background if you do fall inclined to following one of these traders and see what their success rate were for their past charts and that would be a good strategy for you if you do have time but you don't know how to charge properly and look at the amount of detail and this is just for icon this is just one of their coins it's just amazing there's so much stuff out there that you can figure out so anyway tradingview.com you guys should definitely put this in your bookmarks and learn a little bit about what they can offer you keep an eye on this website so anyways let's go back into ethereum and why are people thinking that ethereum is security even after all these years being out there and what has changed let's find out so first we need to understand the difference between a security and a utility token a security token gains its value from an external tradable asset and a utility token is only represents a future access to a company's product or service that is why utility tokens are not deemed security they don't represent any ownership of such company or they cannot independently influence the value or a stake of an investment so any token that is pending exchange listing needs to pass what they call a Howley test. So what is a Howley test? So the Howley test is the name of a court case way back in the 40s where some brokers were trying to find some loopholes and some common enterprise laws. They had offered new buyers the option to lease back their newly purchased farmland to the previous owners and they would allow them to continue harvesting, pooling, and, and marketing all the goods they produce. So that directly affected the value of in their investment. And if any actions of a third party can influence the value, whether it will be yield profits or not, that is a deemed a security. If the actions of the owners would have dictated the the investment to lead or not a profits that wouldn't have been deemed a security and that's where ethereum is hitting that gray area let's see what they're actually claiming ethereum is is falling under there so i found this article by coin telegraph where the title says it never was a security and the fact is ethereum 
in its core is not a security, but here is what they're claiming. So if you read this portion of the article, the major point of concern is the pre-sale of Ethereum tokens in 2014. In total of 31,000 BTC were raised and regulators are concerned that the pre-sale itself could be classed as a security sale due to the fact that investors likely bought tokens in the hopes that their value would increase in the future. If this is found to be the case, Ethereum Foundation should have registered Ethereum as a security before the token sale was carried out. How silly is that? If you sell anything, wouldn't it gain value if there is a limited amount? So this is actually what the issue is. Sounds silly because after all the things that I've been reading, you will think that the issue will be because Ethereum has grown to be way more than what it was in 2014 and they need to update themselves about some of their new additions like proof of staking, maybe sharding, but no, this is actually one of the reasons why. And there is so many different replies about this. In another one of their, their articles, the co-founder, and all their lawyers have gone thoroughly and have just, they know that this is not a security. So they're not really worried, but you never know what the SEC is going to think of. You see so many of these articles. This article, it has so much detail about what will happen if this is deemed security. And this is actually the part that is quite worrisome. What will happen if Ethereum was considered a security? So first off, that is just sounds really bad. Just as everybody heard about this already, right away the price will just fall. And what will happen after that? All the crypto exchanges will have to register with the SEC since they will be trading securities. And trading security laws vary from country to country, but prices, <laughs> oh my gosh, they will just plummet all across the board. Decentralization will just likely take such a huge step back. And oh my gosh, this is just so hard to imagine what will happen to ERC20 tokens because they are just about linked with the Ethereum platform, even though they are not part of the Ethereum platform. What will happen to ICOs since they're just linked with Ethereum through smart contracts? This is just so hard to grasp. They have in such detail about what will happen if you, if you still hold Ethereum, would you go to jail? Would you suffer some penalties? What will happen if you had invested in an ICO? So if you are, if, if I were in your position, I technically wouldn't worry at this step, at this stage until the SEC have come to a conclusion. I'm actually very positive on this. I think that there is always a room for change, but the market took this news way too far and they projected it in such a way that there is a chance that it isn't. But in one of the articles, they even state, why would they be caring to get into such a great depth against Ethereum? They're so open about this. There is, there is some, there, this is not a scammy small ICO that is trying to find loopholes. Ethereum has been solid from the start. But if you guys have a chance to read this article, it's actually quite long. It's on Quartz, QZ.com, and you can just type in right here, just Ethereum as security, and you can find some more details and see if some of these things apply to you. I just wanted to share some of the things that I found online. I hope this helps. This is not to scare anybody. I don't think this is going to go the way that people are just fighting out there. Prices did have to tank the other day, but in the crypto market, 5% is nothing. <laughs> you know, 5% is just what happens every day. So just keep updating on the news, but don't let yourself carry, get carried away in what you keep hearing in social media. If you guys have any comments or if you like some of these videos, just hit the like and subscribe button. Make a comment down below. Maybe I have missed something or you have an input that I haven't found online. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching.